Good morning. What is Jeremiah's prophetic mission? Today we're in Jeremiah chapter 1, verses 9 and 10. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. God uses six terms to tell Jeremiah his mission. And you heard them there, to root out, to pull down, to destroy, to throw down, to build and to plant. Now, four of those six terms are, are negative. You know, we're going to tear down, destroy. We're going to root things out that shouldn't be there. Two of them are positive, to build and to plant. And this is an outline of a prophetic mission here. There's a lot of demonstrating what's false and calling to what's right. It's not something most people would want to stand up and volunteer for, but God called Jeremiah, and Jeremiah, of course, said yes, as he should. He didn't want to say yes, but he said yes. We can be glad for every prophet who says yes, even though they say, oh no, here it comes. When did ever God leave any of his prophets behind to disaster? Even prophets who were murdered in the line of duty, you know, they'll have a better resurrection. Now again, looking at how the prophetic phenomenon works here, God takes his thoughts, he puts them into the prophet's mind, he says, behold, I have put my, my words in your mouth, and the prophet speaks those words, whether people will hear it or not hear it, the prophet speaks them in his own words and tells the truth. The Holy Spirit leads in those words so that they are the right words. Prophets are God's mouthpiece, and Jeremiah is sent as a messenger to the nations. The prophet is responsible to faithfully communicate God's message. We're not talking about whether they receive it or not, whether they want to receive it or not, or whether they, they have to receive it or not. None of that. That's not, his job is to deliver faithfully the message God gives him. They may kill him in the process. They may torture, maim him, um, but he's to deliver that message faithfully, and if he does that, he, he is a 100% scorer. That's what God wants. Deliver my message faithfully. I will be with you. And so this is the message for every prophet. And it's interesting, this is also an important thing for every Christian, isn't it? We are to, with care, with love, with, with uh, wisdom and, and attractiveness, we are to deliver God's message, uh, whether people will hear or forbear. Now, if they don't want to hear it, if they walk away or they let them go, some will pray that whenever somebody rejects uh, my opportunity, I want to share with them a spiritual item and they reject it. You know, I don't, I don't try to wrestle them to the ground. I don't, I don't call in a bunch of thugs to wrestle them to the ground and try to beat the truth into them. You cannot beat the truth into somebody. Instead, I send them on their way as, as friendly as I can. No sarcasm. Uh, you know what? I pray for them. I pray that God in his providence will send us someone who can meet them at the right time, the right place, the person who's the right person to minister to them to advance them towards his kingdom. It, it, it isn't always going to be you or me. Many times it will not be you or me. But we pray for that person, send them on their way, and they have then benefited from your interaction with them, whether they wanted to or not. God uh, will hear that prayer and respond to it providentially for the sake of that, the heart of that person. It's beautiful to work for God. So when the prophet gives a message, kings will take it or leave it. Uh, it's their own peril, but the prophet works faithfully. Now, we can't be indifferent about something. There's something very important here to realize. The fate, yes, the fate of people and nations hangs in the balance. We cannot be silent. We must deliver God's message. They need to come to where they can sort it out and say, I reject this or I accept this. Uh, fence sitting is not a good pastime. Don't plan for that. Prophets are not called to tolerance. Prophets are called to service. And so they need to deliver their message. And Christians need to be also in service to the Lord Jesus. He wants you in his service. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, the calling of Jeremiah to the prophet uh, position you have for him reminds us that you have also a work for each of us individually. It may be something very different than being a literal prophet. But Lord, show us how to do it. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. In a sense, God has sent you and I to the nations to root out, to pull down, to destroy, but also to build and plant. Let's be about our day and do a little bit of that just today. God be with you.